The Bell Witch is one of the most infamous and enduring American folklore stories centered around a haunting and poltergeist activity. The legend originated in Adams, Tennessee during the early 19th century, and it has become a prominent part of American supernatural history. The story revolves around the Bell family, particularly John Bell Sr., who was a farmer and settled in Robertson County, Tennessee, with his wife, Lucy, and their children. The Bell Witch haunting is said to have begun around 1817, when peculiar occurrences started taking place on their farm. The first signs of the haunting were unusual noises, such as knocking on the doors and walls, strange sounds in the night, and unexplained whispering voices. Over time, the manifestations grew more intense and malevolent, affecting the entire family. The entity, which later became known as the Bell Witch, seemed to have a particular interest in John Bell Sr. and his daughter Betsy. As the haunting escalated, the entity started to physically assault the family members. Betsy, the Bell's daughter, reportedly bore the brunt of the witch's attacks. She was slapped, pinched, and even had her hair pulled. The entity's cruel actions extended to other, family members and visitors who came to witness the haunting. The Bell Witch also displayed intelligence and the ability to communicate. It engaged in conversations with family members, displaying knowledge of private information that it shouldn't have known. The entity often taunted and threatened John Bell Sr., claiming responsibility for making him sick and vowing to eventually kill him. These events led many people to believe that the witch had a personal vendetta against the Bell family. Word of the strange and terrifying events at the Bell Farm spread throughout the community, drawing curious and frightened onlookers from far and wide. The story became a sensation, attracting visitors and even some skeptics who wanted to debunk the claims. As news of the haunting spread, more and more witnesses came forward, attesting to the bizarre occurrences they experienced or witnessed on the Bell property. One of the most famous accounts of the Bell Witch was documented by Andrew Jackson, who later became the seventh president of the United States. Jackson visited the Bell Farm, and according to the legend, when the wagon he arrived in got stuck, he reportedly exclaimed, By the Eternal, I'll have help. It is said that a voice from nowhere responded, You can proceed, General. And the wagon became unstuck, leaving Jackson spooked. The Bell Witch continued to torment the family for several years until 1821, when John Bell Sr. passed away under mysterious circumstances. The entity proclaimed that it had poisoned him. After Bell's death, the haunting subsided, but the legend of the Bell Witch lived on. Numerous theories exist about the true nature of the Bell Witch haunting. Some believe it was a poltergeist, a malevolent spirit, or even a manifestation of repressed emotions within the Bell family. Skeptics, on the other hand, proposed that the story was an elaborate hoax or an exaggeration of natural events. Regardless of the origins of the Bell Witch, the story has become a significant part of American folklore and continues to intrigue and frighten people to this day. It has inspired books, movies, and even a play, solidifying its place in the annals of American horror tales.